the clock central time. That's the Indiana Pacers lineup that front line has been restructured a little bit and the Bulls lineup as it has been uh, most of the year and we mentioned Enos Watley in that lead guard spot uh, uh, instead of West Matthews. Stepanovich seven feet, Corzine 6'11", one inch height advantage to Indiana on the jump and Corzine went up there, stole the tap and a re-jump but the ball was really not thrown very well I thought Red so they'll do it over again. It's the toughest the toughest thing about pro basketball now is the guy getting the ball up, the official <laughs> getting it up. Everybody jumps in early. That was a good toss. That was a good one. Indiana got it, and Brown in the forecourt. He's picked up by Orlando Woolridge. Bulls have a couple places they'll be able to post here in this game. Stansbury to Fleming. Looking inside on the backdoor cut. Brown, he traveled with it. Tall timber under there for Brown, who stands six feet six. Well, we see now Stansbury and uh, Watley are are matching up there as you take a look at the all-time series and this year uh, Watley and Stansbury Stansbury can soar high over the head of Mo Watley so keep an eye on that Billy Bulls in the forecourt Greenwood Jordan will bail out on it this is the 42nd meeting between these teams and Watley starts it off by scoring a field goal so the Bulls get on the board first on an assist from Michael Jordan <laughs> he turned to the outside instead of the inside there's yeah. Stepanovich going inside body contact Corzine will draw the foul. Stepanovich goes to the line. He's a good shooter. He has four games in which he's been in double figures uh, in points and rebounds against the Bulls. Say some of his best games of the year for the Chicago Bulls. He sure does. He? he does. And I'll tell you, I had the great privilege of watching him at Missouri and every time I see him out there in a Pacer uniform, I still have some splendid memories of some of the great college basketball games I've seen. So the year that I did Missouri was his senior year and John Sunbold's senior year. It was just outstanding. Tony Brown in the corner. Stansbury fires and hits. Darren Stansbury, heavy pressure, tried to kick it out. Stolen away, Fleming. He has Brown on his left. Back to Fleming, driving. Got the basket. Very good two-man exercise there on the break. They converted it. And the Pacers lead it by two. Here's Jordan. Got the feed from Watley and fires. He's there. Michael Jordan with a hand right in his face. Dropped it in. Here's the lob inside. I don't know who that was for. Corzine couldn't get it. Neither could Jordan. Here come the Pacers. Stansberry will shoot it. Boy, he's nice on the transition, isn't he? Yes, sir. And you can see David react just a little bit. Yeah, as he got that first one down. Here's the breakaway. Stansberry lost it going up. Kellogg for the jam. Stansbury wanted to slam that ball down through, but Kellogg uh, had the privilege that trip. A little bit about the uh, Bulls direction. He seemed to handle himself quite well at the press conference today, I thought, that they had at uh, 10 in the morning along uh, at one magnificent mile. The building. There's six and a half remaining here in the first half. Pacers by a point. Jordan with the ball. Nice pass underneath. Watley couldn't convert it. Thomas will look inside the feed to Tony Brown. Pacers are playing injured tonight. Kellogg in the drive off of the, didn't put it off of the glass, but put it in. Here's Jordan on the drive, gets around Fleming, contact in there as uh, Jim Thomas tried to close from the side, close in on him. See Devin Durant's gonna be coming off of the Pacers bench now, and Brown will go to the bench. Michael takes that good hard cut to his left. He goes up in the air. Here's the whistle. Doesn't pull the trigger. Passes it off, so it'll be just a common foul. And inbounds. The Bulls have it as we return live. Jordan. Fleming on working very hard. Some shots, and if not some fouls. 420 remaining here in the first quarter. And it's the Pacers by a point at 17-16. Watley will shoot it. Oh, nearly bothers people. Just a fingertip. That'll keep that yep. offensive uh, ball line. So the Bulls have another shot. This is their third straight chance. Jordan, he converts it this time with a slammer. Well, three strikes and you're out, but the Bulls uh, got the home run on that third one. Granville Waiters off the Pacers bench. Bent to Kellogg inside. There's a guy who can get points for you. Seven points. Substitutions. Thomas trying to bump Watley a little bit. Corzine. Bulls still with the same starting five. They have not substituted. And we're nearly all the way through the first quarter as Greenwood overshoots. Jordan got the rebound. Up he goes. What a move. He put it up and in despite pressure. I thought Waiters had that block for sure. <laughs> oh, Here's Seasting. He can shoot him in. And Jerry Seasting, the trailer is Waiters. Didn't even look to shoot. Or take it in. Here's Durant. See why now. Devin Durant drops it in. First team academic All-American when he played at Brigham Young. Remaining first quarter tied at 23. Seasting 
Into the paint he goes. Nice pass low. Thomas reversed it up and in. Very good job. Seasting will do that. He'll hit the outside shot if you leave him alone. Out of Short, heavy pressure. Got Thomas up in the air. And also coming over that way was Waiters. And they gave it to Thomas. Now he has three because he's picked up three real quick ones. Back court. Now Michael Jordan goes to the small forward. Uh, Steve Johnson ripping off his warm-ups. He'll be coming in for David Greenwood. And we'll see Michael at the small forward in this lineup. Uh, and he'll draw, it looks like Durant, or uh, yeah, he'll he'll draw Devin Durant, I think, is his man. Seven points now for Jordan. He'll have one more. I guess you, for most players, an eight-point quarter would be exceptional. For Jordan, he usually has three or four of those a game. <laughs> Pitched out front, eight seconds to shoot now. Jordan, quick hands, he stole the ball. Have it back. Man, what an athletic move that was. Here's Jordan. Will they hold? Matthews coming across. Yep, they're going to do it. They get back to Jordan's hand with seven. Here he comes, shoots it with five, puts it in. Well, they had the shot, uh, the ball down with nine seconds to go. Fleming goes behind his back here. Michael Jordan reaches in. You watch Quentin Daly here as Fleming pulls up for the jump shot right across the left arm. Only three seconds ticked off the clock, so the Bulls will have a shot at the last shot here if they can capture the rebound uh, Fleming makes the Fleming has one. three Bulls have six seconds to work with here when the clock again starts he has four now and the Bulls have enough time to get it up the floor uh oh up oh, ball stolen away Stepanovich they Indiana put the pressure on Seasting bumps it in with three seconds left for the quarter well that's what Chicago's Many, many sports fans were reading about today. That story, front page news, in both the uh, Chicago Tribune, the Sun Times, the Daily Herald, and the South Town Economist. Our four uh, papers here in the uh, city and suburban areas of Chicago, and uh, that's the big story. Jerry Krause takes over from Rod Thorne. I guess they've realigned it. I'll have to talk to uh, Jerry about this, but uh, he will not be general manager. There will not be a general manager. As you view the first quarter stats, uh, he, they're going to divide it into marketing, I guess, player personnel, and finance. So, and they'll have a. It'll be much similar to the situation and the setup that the Chicago White Sox have, uh, as far as the way it is run. Jerry Reinsdorf wanted to set up as similar of a situation as he could. On the baseline, ball's kicked out. Waiters with the ball now. Seasting's open behind the screen. Swishes it. Jerry so it took three minutes for the Bulls to score here in the second quarter. And that's made it a little rough going. Having very great trouble getting a basket. Fleming isolated on Daly. Drops it off Stepanovich. That ought to be two. It is. Off of the boards, four points for Steve Stepanovich. Team foul number five. The bonus in effect at 6.01. So the Bulls couldn't really capitalize much on that. As Jordan comes back in, I heard some cheering from one particular section over there. It must be a Michael Jordan fan club or fan delegation well, here tonight. I don't know how many people are here in the building, but I would guarantee most of those people belong to that club. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. I know you and I belong to that club uh, after watching him this year, and uh, we see for some settlement of some money owed to him by other NBA teams, but he was great when he was at Michigan State, of course, with Magic. He was good enough to be the fourth player selected in the first round in the 79 draft. That's how good he was. Well, my goodness. Boy, if Kellogg would have kept going, he would have had that steal because yeah. Steve started to throw it and pulled the string, and it just went like a dying quail. You're right. I'm surprised nobody did pick that off. Jordan in the fourth court. Woolridge and Oldham have pulled out. It's a two-man game. Steve Johnson and Jordan. Jordan takes it to the baseline and hits. He has a dozen. They set up that nice little two-man game over there. Middle Fleming with a running, or rather Kellogg with a running hook shot. Turn around by Waiters at the back rim and short comes out of the with it. But, you know, that's why statistics don't tell the whole story, as we yeah. mentioned a few times. Waiters will bring it across against the trap. Both by three. This ties their largest lead of the game over the sideline it goes, but uh, right back to Indiana. It was tipped out to him, goes in and lays it up. Assisting on the way. Kellogg circling around. Oh, man, that was a nice yeah. Watley, they have a post up inside. Jordan going up over Fleming and scoring. They got that kind of, a, I like to just refer to it as an inversion. The guard's going down low and everybody else pulling out. Corzine, man out in front is Woolridge. And Watley to Jordan looking, puts it up foul. Fire, the three-pointer from outside. <laughs> it created a fast-break situation and now put him in 
a little bit of a problem. He picked up his second foul, hustling on back, and Michael picks up his 17th point by the free throw line. He had one game against this team already this year, and he got 38. So Michael Jordan can deliver the mail, just like Gale used to do. You remember Jack Brickhouse's old saying about Gale Sears when he used to run for a touchdown? Gale, Galloping Gale delivers the mail. That's what Michael Jordan does for this club. Playing competition, all of a sudden now has played the last five minutes and then gets to the line. He's got to be winded a little bit. Jordan did a nice job of working on Fleming down low. They got that little isolation they wanted again, and Fleming had to follow him as they tried to feed it in and Fleming has his second and the Bulls go to the line again and they're getting a lot of points from the line this quarter. Yes they are. They have nine on the quarter from the line. That's what is the difference for the Bulls in leading this game. So Jordan will go for number 19. Gets it. He has nine in this quarter. He'll match the 10 point first quarter he had if he scores here. And if he keeps this up he will go over 40 for the seventh time if he were to uh, score 10 every quarter. He's been there six times, and Indiana is going to call a timeout, a 20-second timeout to talk it over here. Good job, and I'm going to miss watching all Frederick Hughes play uh, at a great career at Loyola. Well, you Super won't job. miss him that much because he's going to be stepping up here probably, or perhaps. Well, I, I'm game. saying I'm, I'll miss yeah, him uh, with uh, Gene Sullivan and Doug Bruno. What a great job that they did. They Our did. hats off to them. They did an outstanding job, and boy, I was very with impressed. City Chicago kids you too. Bet. You bet. Andre Moore coming back. They have a good nucleus to build from. The Jordan putting the clamps on him. Got the ball away. Bulls will have the last Lane. shot. Corzine pops out. Nearly lost the ball. Off to Woolridge. Six to shoot. Jordan, four to shoot. Somebody ought to put it up, and Jordan puts up a long one and hits it. Well, if it all breaks down, you've got number 23 to go get a basket for you. Yeah, that leaves Fleming wide open. Got crossed up he, there. He somewhere. makes those with regularity. Oh, you're right. You're right, and he hits him, and he's a good streak shooter out there. He gets a good thing going. He'll just keep cutting the rebound on Watley's miss. Fleming up the floor. Stansberry fires it over Greenwood. Hits it. Terrence Stansberry. He has not been up to his average since March 9th. He has not had a game where he has scored his average of 23-1. Here is Stepanovich again. He has 10. Looking to do some business. Low to Corzine, goes up for a rolling hook, it went in, and Jordan had his hand right up there, ready to knock it down in case it didn't. Well, the strategy now is to try to go right through Stepanovich on that end to see if they can draw that fifth foul and get him out of the game, so Corzine will see the ball a lot. Stansberry fires it over Jordan and knocks it down. Stansberry in three-point range, Fern Fleming. Boy, he's going to be a fine pro. Look at him reverse hands there. And through the foul from Wadley, and the Bulls are piling changes here. Indiana's drawing the foul. Stepanovich, great head fake, got it up. And Woolridge, I'll tell you, the Bulls were fortunate that that was not called a, ba called a basket. It's going to be uh, two free throws, but uh, your right. hands over his head, he says, I didn't mean to do that. I got cut out of position. And Stepanovich has 11. Now. That could have been. This played again. The Bulls just can't get the ball inbounds. As Indiana slapped the pressure defense on him. Kellogg. Driving in, cuts it to three. And the Bulls are turning the ball over. They see, can't seem to get it in. Now they get it to the money man, Jordan. Greenwood sets the screen for him, and Jordan brings it into the forward court. Well, enough now they're going to go over on the other side. Jordan pops out of the stack. To the baseline he goes. Oh, man, you talked about quick. He had that defender back on his heels. 24 points for Jordan. Stansberry flipping through the air. Offensive foul. Yeah, go cool. Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers. The presence of Jordan. We've found a lot of psyched up opponents uh, this year when the Bulls have gone into their building. It has worked against the Bulls. Yes, I think it has too. Steve Stepanovich. Waiters with a second. Well, passing of the guard. There's, yes, there's the ex uh, managing partner of the Bulls, Jonathan Kobler on the right, and Jerry Krause, the vice president now of. Operations, player operations on the. And usually he'll get one or two of those keyhole type jump shots. We had mentioned that in the opening of the show, but he's gotten it downstairs. Kellogg, it was blocked at rim line that Indiana is using tonight. Kellogg going all the way, and I'll tell you what, patch it together however you want. That was a major league slam by Kellogg. Coming away. Woolridge going in strong, and Brown strips him of the ball with good help from Jim Thomas. And Jordan stole it. It's a three on two. Jordan to Woolridge. Come on! Michael Jordan on the steal. He also had Vanderwaiters. He froze them, gave the ball 
Over the paint, the easy way. A left-handed jammer, pulls by seven. Whoa, now wait a minute now. These two guys, Tony Brown and Woolridge, were squared off. Everybody's on the floor. Kevin Lockery comes out and grabs Tony Brown and says, whoop, whoop, let's take it easy here, fellas. Tony, uh, you're okay. David Greenwood wanted a piece of somebody. Greenwood. That's uh, a piece of Brown. Yeah. And Woolridge went in there. Now, it occurred away from the ball. The ball was being brought up. And then suddenly, Jess Kersey flew in there. He saw something out of the corner of his eye and got in there in a hurry. And he had his dukes up, too. <laughs> I don't know if I wouldn't want to stood between those guys. Now, this is the most fire we've seen out of David Greenwood now. He's a very quiet player. He leads by uh, just rebounding and playing the way he normally does. But right now, he's got fire in his They've eyes. They've called an unsportsmanlike foul on Tony Brown. Personal foul, not counted as a team foul. Tony Brown got it. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. Oh, I guess it was. I tell you what, I read that. I should have just Meanwhile, dropped that thing. let's get back to the game. You're right. I should have dropped that. There was no way I was going to win on that. But Thomas just showed us how to win, didn't he? He just put a little leaning shot inside. He has six. What a job that was. Did a very nice job. Bulls with the inbounds pass. Under pressure, Jordan Fleming is on him. Greenwood was waiting at the half-court line to set the screen. Uh, Granville Waiters up front. That's Waiters with it. Kellogg. Greenwood is on him. Good head fake. Forced the contact. Who is it on? So, uh, Kellogg can really put you in a difficult situation. He has Woolridge does. The expression on his face tells you a lot. Here's Thomas missed on it. The follow by Kellogg. He got that tip up over Jawan Oldham. Have Greenwood, Woolridge, and Oldham. Feed low for Jordan cutting into the lane. That, that was a well-designed little set up there to, to uh, spread the floor enough so that Jordan could get in there and operate. Here he comes up the middle. No, but Jordan's there for the rebound and slammed it down. He is 26. It's a six-point lead. Dr. J going to go up and slam it. However, hits it off the back of the glass, but no fear. There's Captain Marvel to smash it on down through. Watch him take it off the dribble with the one hand. Now, he is just going to go up here like he's going to dunk it and lays it high off the glass. Only it doesn't go off the glass. It hits the back of the rim, and there's Michael. Boom, boom. Right there to jam it. Gives down. you that little extra spark. Now, he got rubbed off that time. Fleming had the open shot, but then drove in too close. Here's Jordan uh, with a steal and a late whistle on it. Yep. And Jawan Oldham threw the ball against the backboard. Is that going to be? He's going to get it, yeah. Yeah, no doubt about that. I think he's going to give him a T. Got to give him a T. Played in Montana, and the CBA worked his way up to the NBA. He's been working on it. Bulls with the inbounds pass. Quinton Daly tosses it in to Jordan. He'll bring it across. Daly, Jordan, and Matthews on the floor at once right now. That means Jordan's in a forward spot. Oldham rolled it across the top of the rail. Stolen. Jordan got it put it in on the slam. shot as Oldham was right there to challenge him. Bulls are up by six. Well, they need a good run here to try to blow somebody out. Twelve points remaining in the third. Jordan spinning, driving, wiped off by Waiters. Indiana has the last possession. Six seconds. Seasting with four seconds. And Seasting knocks it down. The clock stop at three seconds. Well, Will Chamberlain played guard, didn't he, with a globe yeah. trotter? And that, that is really something. Seasting with a long jumper. Switch is it. Man, Seasting knocked it down. production. Stepanovich on the baseline, kicks it out. Durant's wide open and switches it. Devin Durant is a good stand-up jump shooter to force you to play the game. Well, next year they may but come with that clock in the tournament. If they do, it'll please me. Change the looks of the big boy. Dangerous cross court pass. <laughs> yeah, would please me, too. Three-pointer by Seasting. It's there. Jerry Seasting felt he had the range, popped it. He has 17. And he's performed well against the Bulls here tonight. We are tied up at 96 as Jordan lets one go, bounces around, he broke the tie, and right on him was uh, Granville Waiters. In fact, I don't know if Waiters didn't get a hand on it. Fans wanted traveling. Seasting will go for it. Tied up at the century mark. Jerry Seasting has 19 points coming off of the bench for Indiana. He was the eighth man, ninth man to play. Fourth man off of the bench, and boy, he's just lit it up. Quentin Daly driving. Shot blocked from the back by Stepanovich, and the Pacers have it back. Yeah, they've done on the defensive boards this year. Stepanovich, the rolling one-hander, he got it up over Oldham. Boy, was that a beautiful move. 
Oladipo has 16. Steve Johnson gets it. That's number five on him. He's in trouble. The bonus light goes on at 6.43. Timeout on the floor. 6.43 remaining. And it's the Pacers now with a two-point lead, 102-100. Kellogg got that second one down. Now the lead is up to three, 103, 100. And the Bulls has some work to do. That's Kellogg's first point of the fourth quarter. Matthews brings it up. Matthews and Jordan in the backcourt. Dave Corzine in the middle now for the Bulls along with Woolridge and David Greenwood. Jordan a running one-hander off of the boards. Blocking foul. And so Jordan will get to the line. And the guy who stood in there, Jim Tunnel. That's a third foul on the Pacers at 628. Michael with a chance to tie it up. They can pull it within a point here. Jordan has 31. From the foul line, he has been 6 for 6 tonight. There, 32. 32 points for MJ. Thomas, nice move inside. Oh, and he puts it up. I love Michael Jordan. Drew that ball back, put it up and in, and he has been, you know, they have six players averaging double figures a year for them. They're, they're balanced every night yes. like this. They don't centralize their attack. They've got everybody involved. Matthews, rebound comes out to Indiana, and the Bulls are having trouble with Indiana shot. Jordan back the other way, could cut it to a point. Out to Greenwood. There's the post up. Jordan Lowe goes in there, double clutched on it, drew the foul. Was it Stepanovich? If it is, that's his fifth. They gave it to him. And so, Stepo is in trouble. Michael Jordan now gets two free throws, a chance to close it up here a little. It's again. Seasting popping out, fires the shot over Woolridge and puts it in. Jerry Seasting, unreal, 21 Early points. Here, and since then, it's dropped off about 40 percentage points. Here's Thomas. Matthews brings it across. Jerry Seasting is on him. Looking low for Woolridge. Out front to Jordan. Into the paint. Driving all the way. Contact. Basket. It goes. Michael Jordan puts it in. A big hoop for the Bulls. And Clark Kellogg got it. Clark Kellogg picks up the foul. His third. Michael drives it a hoop. Clark Kellogg gives him a bump on the side. It catches the iron. Friendly fall in here. And boy, the Bulls needed that one. Now a free throw here can close it down a little closer. 237. They really needed this three-point play. And they have it. 36 points for Michael Jordan. Seasting. Fed Lotus to Panovich. Seasting will fire. It was blocked. Woolridge blocked it. Bulls have the ball back. Woolridge and a breakout. Long feed for him. Jeff puts it up for the hoop. On the feed from Michael uh, Jordan. Woolridge down there all over. Michael Jordan with the eyes behind his head routine. Indeed, and he got it out there. All the strength he had to put that ball up there. Jordan snuffed it out. Jordan and Greenwood foul called as Brown went down. Leading two to tie. Fleming driving. Shot blocked. Foul. To the ball. Here. 56 hope, seconds to go. Let's hope they keep it in mind. He diagrammed about every possibility. Fleming running one hand. In that situation, yep. he was right underneath the basket, and now the clock is the 24 second clock is off. Bill will play it all the way down 17 seconds ago. All right, the Pacers have the ball, they trail by two. Thomas Kellogg going for the tying hoop. He missed it. Jordan got the rebound. The Bulls have it. Six seconds away from victory and a foul in the backcourt against Thomas. And Jordan has the balance of this game in his own hands now. Now giving everybody high fives, not over yet with five seconds, but here is the shot off the rim, and watch Michael Jordan up above everybody, right in the middle of the pack, grabs it, brings it out to the side, and has to be fouled by Jim Thomas. Five seconds to go. Bulls can increase this lead. If they do by four, there'll be a timeout, and then we'll see the three-point action, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Big free throws right now. Michael Jordan has 30. Seven. Never a doubt on that one, I guess. Just yeah. ripple the cord. And if there's no timeout, you better start to put some pressure on. Yeah, they really don't have much choice. Okay. And they will definitely want to make it difficult to move the oh, ball. Game, set, and match may be right there with those two, huh, Bill? 38 points. And the Bulls. That MJ's like money in the bank as the Bulls went on to win that game 120 to 119. Jordan ended the year setting a club single season record for points. 2,313. He also led the Bulls in boards, assists, and steals. As a result, he ended the season being named NBA Rookie of the Year.